In this particular example, I'm given just only two points. And based on those two points or those two coordinate pairs, am I able again to find the name of the line or the equation of the line that matches and goes through those two points? Well, we can use our point slope formula that we've learned. So I need a point and a slope. Well, I have a point. Actually, I have two points, but I have a point, but I don't have a slope. Oh, you're right. I do have a slope. You guys remember that we also remembered, we also remembered, we have our slope formula as well. So let's use that. So slope equaled y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can designate either pair of that as our y2s, y1s. So this becomes then 6 minus a negative 3 over a negative 2 minus a 4 equals a 9 over a negative 6 equals a negative 3 halves. So I have a slope that equals negative 3 halves. So to use point slope, which says I need to have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, to use that I need a point and a slope. Well, I now have a slope, but I also have two points. You're right. It doesn't matter which point I use. I can use either point because both of those points are on the line, and they're both known. So we'll just choose to use the first one. So y minus y1, which is a negative 3, equals slope, which we discovered was negative 3 halves, x minus x1. I use this one over here, 4. Now let's just clean that up a little bit. y plus 3 equals minus 3 halves x minus negative 3 halves times negative 4, uh, negative 12, makes it a positive 12 plus a 6. Subtract 3 from both sides. y equals minus 3 halves x minus 3. And there you go. There's the name of the line or the equation of the graph or the, the equation of the line, the equation of the graph is y equals negative three x um, minus three. Needed to add one little thought there. Did you see the mistake that I made? I make mistakes too, and I'm glad that you caught it. Back here, when I subtracted negative three from both sides, negative three makes the three go away, but six minus three results in a positive three. Not a minus three, Willie. Come on. It's again, it's always a good idea to check our work. You will make mistakes. I will make mistakes. And the good thing about making mistakes is that we can learn from those mistakes.